So we have this, we give it a color, and let's say it's not the exact green you want. You could come in here, make a new one, and then basically like adjust this using the slider to get it the way you want. But let's say you just wanted to use an exact color that you found or that you had in a drawing that you scanned. We can bring in any sort of raster image into this and we can make it a vector file. It's not going to be perfect, but for certain types of files it doesn't matter. You just need to grab that color information. So you can use an eyedropper with a raster, but I'm going to show you how to do something that's even more useful. It will make a color book so that you can save it and then always link that across actually all your Adobe software so Photoshop Illustrator and InDesign so let's say you just go online and you search like color palette and we go to images and then we can grab this one would be crazy because you have a ton of different ones but let's say you really like this so see this is pulled from like this picture. They go through and like select different things and then they grab the colors out of them. So if you only look at the bottom, that's what we want to grab. So let's select this. Oops. I'm just going to hit copy. I'm not even going to save it anywhere. Um, and then here, I'm just going to hit Control V and just drop it in. So the first step in this is I need to grab, you can do this. So it's not like this is the only way you could do that and that will work pretty good but if I want to save these I need to get them in there somehow so you could make an individual square and keep matching it with the eyedropper this way it's a little bit cooler we can do with the raster image you do the image trace and see what it did it's gone in and it's actually set a raster edge a vector edge to everything um, if we click this this gives us more options so instead of black and white, I'm going to put this to color. And you got to wait a second for it to recalculate. But this will already grab most of what you need. If you go to advanced, you can do limited colors, full colors, automatic. Um, you can bring down the number of colors from 30. Let's just try and do like 8. So we have, it should see these as individual colors. See up there, we don't care about that because we only want this down here. Um, notice here how the signature got all messed up if you add more paths or you'll see this changing here on the squares it's pretty much okay already we can add more corners and try and get it to follow that path better so if you're trying to scan like an icon to show like sun or like wind and it's not aligning nice you can do this like play around with these sliders until it looks more or less correct um, I don't really care, so I'm just going to bring this down until I have the right number of colors for my palette here. So let me back out. So these are looking good, but see I still can't pick them. You have to do this, the expand. So once I've expanded it, see now you see the edges. So if you double click, I have all these different colors. Oh, let me undo. I forgot to show you a really cool option. So, did I expand it already? No. Right? Okay, good. So, I still haven't expanded it. If you check this, let's say, where's my square? See, so you can't see it. If there's white in the image and you check ignore white, it will immediately cut out everywhere there was white and it's not going to trace that so it can understand what you're doing um, and then now once I have this I can hit expand so now I don't have to worry about the white I can come in here I'm just gonna cut these out because I want those and now I'm just gonna paste them I'm just gonna put them there I'm just gonna get rid of that I don't want that so the important thing is, here I have all the colors I want. So if I look at my swatches, so I don't see them there, so I'm going to go Windows, Swatches. You have a bunch of swatches, right? And then if you look, these are what are called color books. So if you look at the bottom, 
color, oh sorry, not book, color group. If you don't have anything selected and you make a new color group, it will ask you, what do you want to name it? And then you can start dragging and dropping these into it. And it will save them like that on its own row. There's a trick where if you select a bunch of art first, and now we click this, it will grab all these colors and make it in there. So let's call this one color palette one. And see, it. you can tell it selected artwork. And then if you hit OK, see now it's made them right here. So now we can delete this. We can actually go to our other file that we were working on earlier. And if, if you would have to obviously save it. So you can save this one. You can go, I think here, save, add to your like library, your uh, Adobe library. And then that's saved everywhere. I think there's tons of ways you can do that. You can also go, oops, up here. There's a bunch of options here you can do um, to help with that with your options. Um, and then once you have that, anything we want, we can just click that. Now you have those colors. And they will also appear right here if you scroll down a little bit. So that's a super helpful way to do it. Um, that live trace tool is really nice when you're trying to do um, like icons. So let's say like icon, let's say wind. I usually search PNG because I want it on a white background because I know I have that ignore white. Um, let's say, like, you can do shapes too. So Texas PNG. So we have this. I just picked Texas, just a random state. So we can say copy image. And then here we can just paste. And see, that's going to work perfectly because it's two really contrasting colors and I have a nice edge. So once I go to image trace, I can then go to the options. And if I wanted the colors, I could tell it, grab those colors. If not, I don't need them. I can tell it black and white. The threshold is how big an object needs to be for it to be considered an individual path. So if you had like a picture and you have a really low threshold, it will try and make a shape for every little nuance. Whereas if you drag this up, it will look for larger changes in color. Um, paths, if you watch the edges, they get closer and closer to the original shape. And then corners, you can go less. And then sometimes, like, you can literally drag this from all the way from one side all the way to the other, and there's no change. Sometimes there's a little bit of change. Sometimes you barely move it, and the whole thing, like, explodes as soon as you touch it. So you got to watch out and then just kind of see what your preview is. Um, and then once you're happy, if you look down here, uh, noise is just basically like how noisy you want it to look or how smooth. I typically don't mess with the noise. Um, I guess if you want it to look different or if you had noise. Uh, now here you can have things that come together, create a cutout, or you if you want overlapping, anywhere there's something behind it, it would have like the shape behind it. Whereas here, if there's something overlapping, it would only treat that edge to define the two shapes fills or do you want also strokes so it can give you both separate so in case you wanted to edit them later um, and then the preview if you don't if you don't have that on it won't show you the result it only shows you the original uh, and you have to hit trace every time you want to see it and then right now I'm using the result or you could do the source image that's what it looked like originally um, you could tell it outlines or the result so now we like it we can hit expand you can go into it and then you can pick the object you want so we could select the outer one and hit delete or the inner one and hit delete you can change the fill from that to like a green or we can use one of our custom colors oh there I didn't have anything picked So there you go. Since I told it to ignore white, it only gave us the outside. And then this is where you live, somewhere here, or something. So see, now we're using the colors from that palette. 
to do whatever we wanted.